Wake up! Where are we going? Where are we going? New York City! Ah! See, my day started out normal. Well, as normal as a high school dropout's life can get, I guess. But let me rewind you to exactly what happened. I got called in last month to fly in from Portland to New York last minute. It's for an event called Next Gen. Next Gen is the event of the year for all entrepreneurs. I couldn't miss it. And I seriously didn't think I was going to make it. No, no, seriously. See, my flight was delayed, landed in the wrong city, delayed for another two more hours, so I had to take a fat Uber ride from Philadelphia to New York. Yeah, typically I have a lesson to teach you guys, but today you're solely just going to learn from my mistakes. This is the startup. Hello? What's up? Hello! Hey Jade, are you going to Next Gen? No, it's all the way in New York. Why would I go? I think it's a good opportunity for you to learn more about your peers. Yeah, but where do you think we're going to get that money? You know what? You figure it out. I think you should just go for it, pay the money, and figure out how to pay for it along the way. Alright, let's go. So we're here at the Portland National Airport. Hi guys, I'll see you. Uber five rating, okay? Uber five ratings. Bye, mom. Careful, okay? Get some sleep. And when I landed to JFK, my flight got diverted. Yeah, so we go all the way to Philadelphia to take a pit stop, and then suddenly our plane starts malfunctioning and we have to stay there for another three hours. It's currently 10 a.m. and we're still not in New York. Basically, last time you saw me was on my flight to go to New York, but there's a detour because of fog, so now we're in Philadelphia. Life is not about the destination, it's about the journey. So I'm gonna live up this journey as much as I can. I ended up saying screw this, so I took an Uber all the way to New York. Yeah, I took an Uber from Philadelphia to New York. It was really fucking expensive. So oh, currently, I just got to New York. Um, this is Vincent, my amazing Uber driver. Say what's up. Two hours later, I'm here. Thank the Lord. I ended up arriving like four hours late to the event. I was supposed to be here at nine and it was 2 p.m. So anyways, I felt so embarrassed. I remember walking in and everyone was like crowding around me because I was just making a huge scene with my luggage. <laughs> I guess like my biggest fear was like walking in late. I knew PBJ was running out of money. I knew I had to like, you know, make a good impression. So I just didn't want to walk into a venue full of investors looking stupid. Because if I don't come back home with something, I feel like a failure, you know? I don't know, that's just the thought I had. I definitely think I put a lot of pressure on myself during that weekend. I, but I kind of chose that journey, right? Like if I don't put pressure on myself, then no one else will. Like I gotta be my biggest motivator and my biggest critic even. Um, and this is something what happens when you choose entrepreneurship and the most important thing is you don't have to feel, you don't have to feel alone. Um, I met some cool friends along the way. I met a friend. Hey. This is Elliot. Hi. Say. Jesse, I want my name to pop up. Okay. <laughs> my name's Brennan. Hello, how are you? Hi. Uh, are you part of Darwin Nation member? Yes, I am a Darwin Nation. <laughs> What up, guys? We are here next gen. I'm Gly, by the way. I met my team, Clara. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Jade. She's an amazing person. And I don't know, I think, like, these people just really made my trip not feel a shitty. <laughs> hey, guys. So today I'm here at Next Gen Summit. I'm here with Clara, Brennan, Elliot, and Jesse. Elliot. Oh, my God. This is what we do. What are we doing? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I found some friends. No, no, no investors. Um. Pay the money and figure out how to pay for it along the way. No, I mean, yeah, like maybe I had the wrong intention to just find a million dollars and, you know, get money for PBJ. But when you wait long enough, you get better investors. I'm not ready. PBJ is just not ready to get funding, a team. It's still in beta testing and we're going to constantly change. And 
I think this is the first time I realized like money doesn't solve every problem. I guess like the biggest mistake startups have is they think their issue is money. When you don't have market fit, when you don't know your what you're actually solving, what's the point of getting funding? You're just gonna blow shit up more. I almost felt like this was a true learning lesson that like when you are spending money, like ROI doesn't need to be actual dollars. It can be an experience, it can be a knowledge. And I think with the friends I've I've made, I I feel like I'm onto something and this is just the start of something new. Sometimes you won't understand why something is happening to you in the moment. You might go for one intention and you might walk away with something else. But you'll only understand when you look back. So basically I learned that PBJ is a little premature. So we're still going to go back to the drawing board and figure some shit out. But our issue isn't money. It's actually achieving market fit first. Yeah. After we achieve market fit, we find our users, we find the problem we're solving. I think that's when we can go into investing. But right now we're we still need an A-B test and it requires a startup environment, not inquiring a huge team and investors, not just yet. So my biggest advice for anyone on this journey, everything happens for a reason. So trust the process. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching episode three of The Startup. I realized that the most important thing is your guys' feedback. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and this, give this video a like. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below your thoughts. In the next episode of the startup, we're going to go over how to network properly. I basically go to LA to get more networking opportunities. You guys see that we have a live meeting with my team. So that will be interesting. And you guys are going to meet more of the PBJ builders and believers of the initial project. So again, thank you so much for believing us and I'll catch you guys soon.